Welcome back to Pathfinder Kingmaker. So we are at the Baneful Book, and uh, it's time to head out and continue exploring the uh, dire, dire Gnarl Marches so that we can claim that region into our kingdom as well. Well, technically barony as of yet, but yeah, it will be a kingdom. Quagmire. Yes, we want to enter this location. That is a bizarre sound. Oh, uh, good, good day. Um. That's a poisonous thing. Can. No, no. You guys go back there. Do you have... You have neutralized poison. You also have delay poison. Here we go. What? Um, I don't like these Nixies. Do heal Amiri. I told you to heal Amiri. Not that. Can this be converted? Cure Life Wounds Moss? No, I don't need that. What I do need is... Cure Critical Wounds. These things were rather uh, nasty. Can you please go after that thing? And you. You are obviously confused. Several of them are out of commission at the moment. Lindsay, can you summon something? You for getting me. Cannot hide from me. Okay, um bone shatter. Sheesh. Nixies are nasty business. Without a doubt. Was there a trap there? Anything else? I think most of the damage my party took there was from uh, my own party. Look ahead. Applause, please. Understand why these traps are here. I mean, this isn't anything particularly good. I'm positive I found something. I will see this. No, no. Let Lindsay deal with the trap first, please. 
pause, please. You know, Lindsay, when you keep blabbering about needing applause for everything you do, at some point it gets so tedious that people no longer appreciate what you're actually doing for the group. We receive the Chilly Midnight and the charred screwdriver with the Technic League's brand. Okay. What is this Chilly Midnight? Sickle plus three cold iron finesse wielding. That does dexterity damage indeed. Uh, in addition, that, that's a rather nice sickle. But we do not have any druids. Regular trident, silver powder, and some random stuff. I assume we can't get over to this tree. No, I didn't expect us. Looks like the uh, source of whatever uh, those Nixies were doing here. Um. Let's just move on. I don't think we need to bother with uh, resting and healing now, because I'm sure that on our travel, since we're in the Gnarl Marches, with the traveling time being as obnoxious as it is, we're going up to the Sunny Hillock. Probably going to need to rest before that. 13 hours just for that little distance. Time to get some rest, isn't it? Kelso, please. Yep, let's uh let's rest. You're not bad at all. Let's fight one on one. Find out who is the best fighter on this team, huh? No need to fight. You are the best. <laughs> Ekon is uh a wise man. Sure. I just hope it isn't a dragon. Do I not some hold back. Running won't help you. The magic missile, eh? Some regular plus one equipment, but it'll sell for nice money. Yeah, just collect all. And onwards we go. Kingdom needs us. Sunny Hillock. There's a very interesting horse here. What the heck is this? Some unknown force erected this tower by balancing crates and barrels on top of one another. It is impossible to predict how long this unreliable construction will remain standing. A cart that was shrunk to the size of a toy. Judging by the pool of blood under it, someone was unlucky enough to be inside the cart when it shrunk. If not for the distinct smell of paint, you would have thought this horse really was magical. However, this doesn't explain its gigantic size. How did you get up there? A stout middle-aged man is fighting to keep his balance on top of the creaking tower. He is terrified and sweat is running down his face so much so it's soaked his shirt through. For the sake of all gods, take me down before I break my neck. <laughs> ah, that's spectacular. I leave everything as it is. I wouldn't want to ruin such a beauty. Um, who are you? I'm Tamrath, a paint vendor. I'll be happy to tell you the story of my life after you help me down. What happened here? 
damned fay and their pranks, that's what happened. They sprang from the woods, hexed my horse and my cart, killed my coachman, stole my paints, then put me up here. Hold on, I'll help you. Abadar be praised, finally. <laughs> it's, oh, it's so tempting. Jump, I'll catch you. Oh. Man's face become paler with every passing second. All right, Tamrath, pull yourself together. One, two, three. Tamrath tries to steady himself and prepares to jump. As he does, the makeshift tower begins to sway dangerously. With a yelp, Tamrath leaps as the tower begins to tumble down, crates falling everywhere. You extend your arms forward to catch him. And you succeed. Struggling with the effort, you set the vendor on the ground as best you can. Thank the gods I'm saved. Thank you too. If only poor Avim was as lucky. The vendor throws a glance at the blood pooling beneath a miniature cart. So tell me about yourself? Of course. I am Tamrath from Galt, and I make my living selling paints. I buy them in the city and then travel to villages in the area selling them. Everybody wins, the peasants don't have to travel to the city, and I provide for my family. So what exactly happened here? I was carrying my wares to the neighboring village. I've heard strange stories of odd happenings on this road, but I didn't listen, the old fool that I am. My coachman, Avim, and I were barely halfway to the village when a crowd of fae sprang out of the woods, laughing and encircled us, and we didn't stand a chance. They started to rummage through the cart, then... I could st scarcely believe it. They began building this ridiculous tower, arguing about what they should call it. But while they were building it, one of the crates fell and cracked open, and the paints. They were fascinated by them. But they couldn't find a canvas, so they decided to paint our poor horse, Garland. They made him huge with their magic and started to color, the color him, each in their own way. Garland just couldn't stop rearing, he was so scared, and Avim couldn't take it anymore. He loved Garland so much. The vendor is silent for a moment, his face, face pained. Avim, oh Avim, we've been through so much together. Long story short, Avim bo broke free and tried to drive the Fae away. That's when Garland fled. The Fae were ready to kill poor Avim where he stood, but the woman who led them proposed a joke instead. Before I knew it, they had put me on top of the tower so I couldn't disturb them. Then they stuffed poor Avim into the cart with the remainder of the boxes and then shrunk the cart. Tamrath swallows, but not Avim. And a completely natural uh, evolution of the conversation after that is to ask, so how did they call this tower, Tamrath? The vendor of Winces, Temple of Solitary Contemplation. Where can I find the fay who did this? Suddenly you hear branches rustle and noise from the nearby bushes becoming louder and louder. Help! Of course. What are those things? Tree ants? Can you make an epic pose? I need inspiration. Uh, okay. Um. I'm not sure if these things do any kind of... Protection from acid probably would be nice though. Also delay poison communal. You can do chameleon stride. Jubilost. Oh, I don't think that's going to be necessary. Um...
can do displacement though. Let's uh, concentrate on one at a time, shall we? It is a tree ant. From the hill's summit, a slim and miniature woman with dark hair and pale, almost moonlit skin is regarding you curiously. There is a light smile on her lips, but her eyes are like the cold depths of an ocean. Judging by her appearance, she can only be a Nereid. So that's who spoiled our fun and killed the guardians we left to watch over our new friend? We didn't invite you to participate in our game, but still, you intervened and ruined everything. Why? can try that. I am ruler of these lands and your acts are against our laws. You must provide reparations or be brought to justice. Fail that one. The Nereid's careless laughter is clear and fluid like a swift running stream. You're as funny as all the others in this world. I knew it was a good idea for us to go on this trip. But anyway, I have little time for your silly threats. You interfered in our game quite rudely and now you must pay for that. Down better ones. Um... Actually, um, can you do that? I think I have another spell that I can use as well. Uh, let's see here. Stinking cloud. Yeah, there we go. And the cart returned to its normal size. That's not bad. Um, who has the highest uh, has not constitution? Or fortitude save here. Well, I can't send the wolf. Let's send Harim. Patience. Grab these. I don't think there's anything else up here. And all of these, of course. Troubles you. Is there anything else here? I don't think so. Got all. Okay. Thank you. I dread to imagine what could have happened to me if not for you. Please take this sign as a sign of take this as a sign of my gratitude. We get some gold and some experience points. Is that all there is to this little map. Considering what happened here, the um, slightly um, whimsical music seems kind of out of character. It's not even a mushroom here. have to leave up there. Oh well. At least they run qua run fast enough. I should try to get back into the kingdom so we can deal with those uh, event things. I think that's sufficiently inside. Let's try the Verdant Chamber. I think that's in the Dyrnal Marches, but... Yeah, sure. And then our leader charged forward. Hey, wait for me. A poisonous hydra. 
Uh, how about you guys stand here and Lindsay cast some uh, delay poison? You can cast this. Nice and easy. Moving along. No. I know this isn't inside the kingdom, so... This is... Road to Oleg's trading post have been built. We have honored our agreement with the Jamandi Aldori to build a proper road to Oleg's trading post. Plus three to economy and plus two to relations. Oh. The Grand Diplomat. Well, I think that can wait. This weed thing. Two days until you're back. That requires 14 days, so... Well, let's head back into the uh, Narl Marches. I can actually go up this way and see if there's anything up here. Yeah, we'll fight them as well. And I barely leave the kingdom until it starts becoming red again. Goblins. Do not hold back. What's up with this dwell cat? Ouch. Ouch, indeed. Masterwork crossbows. And that's it. I wonder if we should head back just to Resting get this. Would be nice, don't you think? Every little bit helps. That's an opportunity. But, uh, no. More strength fades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your academy might not be the best institution of learning, but you are so greatly lacking in education. Trust me, a career in writing is impossible without it. So your books are not a reflection of your own merit, but your teachers? How about that? I never expected such a confession from you. I love that quip back. Very good. Well done, Lindsay. Okay, so there's a road going there. 28. Um, let's go into the... Uh, brown bald head before we go back to the kingdom Direwolves The end draws near um, I wrote it like I saw it Where 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 there am I assistance Yes, I wanted to cast haste. Wait on your mistakes. I'm not sure the wolves can, but uh, gold powder. The wolves seem to have had a field day here. Blood-stained letter. Robel, 
You made it through selection. By this letter, I appoint you headman of the Alazar Wolves. Congratulations. We've just received new orders. Herdsmen from local villages held a whip round for money and hired us to kill the cyclops that's been ravaging their herds for the last several years. It's not much money, but this is a good and proper deed. Our key advantage lies in our numbers, so we should engage the cyclops on open ground. We can't let him hole up in his lair. Your objective is simple. Gather the rest of recruits near the cave in the Narl Marches, draw out the Cyclops and lead him into the meadow, where our main forces will surround and neutralize him. I'll brief you on the details when we meet. I'm counting on you, Captain Alazar. Well, these guys seem like uh, nice people, though. They weren't exactly lucky with their uh, endeavors, but... So, what is this? It seems their poor, these poor sods met their deaths as they tried to escape. Their weapons and armor are in, are in poor condition. Which begs the question, where is this Cyclops? seemed to be it for the area. Cyclops, Cyclops probably is around here somewhere. Maybe further north. Let's go back down there. Can manage the kingdom. After two days laboring in the middle of the river, the noble was ready to give everything she had to be rescued. After receiving his reward, the general sent his soldiers to the river and to the release the noble from her predicament. We get minus one loyalty but plus eight military. Wow. Ergot, the councillor's decision to impose government control over the grain reserves made it, made it possible to avoid famine. The people are praising the Baron and his wise and decisive advisor. Plus five to loyalty. Omen, the magister paged through the be bestiary and concluded that the deer was an illusion sent by Erastil, pointing to a guilty priest. The investigation revealed that the local cleric had fallen in love with a young peasant girl and killed her fiancé in a jealous rage. Plus three, culture. That made sense. Okay, so the general requests an audience and the grand dip diplomat needs to talk to us. This mysterious weed needs to be dealt with. Every little bit helps. We can uh, probably send these people off on... Uh, on these things now. The crisis point in there. And... Well, the border of the Null Marches, we are starting to see them now. This probably leads to this river crossing. Indeed it does. Be nice, don't you think? Yes, yes, soon. We are back to the hearty meal. Well, we just as well make some grilled silver eel. Isn't it folly trying to recover the gnome's lost immortality? Nothing is eternal. Is there truly a difference in the face of oblivion to live for ten years or a million? The whole first world will come to an end at some point. I don't Indeed. know about the end of the world, but your nagging is certainly endless. This makes you somewhat of a living phenomenon. <laughs> X 
expect this just goes down there. Stop. Go back. Can I? I can. Okay, so I can use space bar to stop them. That's useful. Tenacious Marsh. Let's just grab the road. Something is going on in the kingdom again. Pike Stretch. A rest would be welcome. Uh, let's go back up here. Random encounter. Let's finish them. Repent. Mandragora. How cute. Little creatures with turnips as heads. They're not even lootable. Take care of this kingdom matter. Another random encounter. Plenty of these today. Stand with me. Serves Bandit you Bard. Right. You it. That's not the most successful bandits I've seen. Would you choose to attack a group of six people with a huge dog when you're just two people? So, what do we have to deal with? Amiri wants to talk. Yeah. We are so close to finishing up the Dire Null Marshes that I don't think we'll go back to the capital just yet. However, we will end the episode here and uh, finish up the Null Marshes in the uh, next episode. So thank you all so much for joining me and I will see you all then.